Hello, my name is Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my autobiographical series, My Life and Not So Much a Nutshell, but More of a Melon Rind. And this is from the first of those four books. After a few months in the new house, my mother started talking to the lady that lived in the apartment on the other half of the building. She lived upstairs. The downstairs neighbors had moved out, so that apartment was vacant. One day, while my dad was at work, my mother walked in and said, Come meet Fran, indicating the lady upstairs. We walked around the house and up a set of stairs. Fran was a slightly overweight woman with short ginger-colored hair. This is my son, Eric, my mother told Fran. It turned out that Fran had a girlfriend who lived in California but was coming to visit. She'll be here tomorrow, Fran said. She also had a cute dog, half wolf, half husky. She was very clearly expecting puppies any day now. Her name is Sheba, Fran said. About a week later, the telephone rang. Hello, I said into the receiver, which was attached to the rest of the phone hanging on the wall. Eric, my mother said, you have to go over to Fran's apartment. She's about to go to work, and Sheba is getting ready to have her litter. Okay, I said. I went over to Fran's apartment. She was dressed in tie-dyed smock and blue nursing pants. Thank you, she said when I walked in. I have to work. I tried to call out, but the flu was going around. It's no problem, I replied. I can do this. She gave me her phone number. Call this when she goes into, into labor. A few hours later, Sheba gave birth to five adorable puppies. I really wanted the black and white one. Fran said that I could choose. Six to eight weeks later, I got Shimax. I named him that as a testament to his parents. Sheba and the other dog who belonged to the neighbor. His name was Max. Shimax looked like his father. A pit bull. The mother also picked out a puppy, brown and black, with Max's body but with Sheba's short tail. She named the puppy Lucy.